Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our sacred sanctuary of smiles and silly announcements, where laughter is not only encouraged, but practically mandatory. Now, before we begin, please take a moment to silence your cell phones. We don't want any divine interruptions during our services. And if your phone does ring, we hope that it's a heavenly chorus of laughter, not your Aunt Jennifer's latest cat video. First on the announcements, we have Soccer Camp. Soccer Camp is from May 30th till June 1st. For more information about Soccer Camp, as well as all the other camps, please visit us at trinityarl.org forward slash summer camp. We hope that you will join us for our Soccer Camp and score some laughs that'll have you kicking yourself with laughter. Speaking of sports, athletes and pickleball enthusiasts gather around for a smashing announcement about the most delicious sport of all time, pickleball. We're starting our Pickleball Connect group on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. The start date will be June 7th at 6.30 p.m. Trust us, folks, you look so stylish while playing, even the pickles will be green with envy. So let's pickle and roll, my friends. June is already upon us, and that means that the first Friday of the month is also upon us. As most of you know, on the first Friday of the month, we have Happy Hearts, where 55 plus members of our congregation and friends gather together to share a meal and enjoy each other's company. For this month, we will have David Paul come and share his musical talents with us. Now, this will be the last one in the spring, and we will come back in the fall. So if you plan on coming, we kindly ask you to unleash your inner culinary superheroes and bring your most mouth-watering creations. But remember, folks, this is a church event, so please leave your superpowers of excessive spiciness at the door. As you know, we had a district conference at Trinity last week, and it was a great event, but none of it would have been possible without the help and the hospitality of the church members. So thank you to all of you, whether you helped bake cookies, greet people at the door, whether you sang in the choir, and whatever else it is that you did, thank you so much for all of your help. Here's a quick recap video from the conference. To end on a more serious note, I'd like to say a couple of words about Memorial Day. Memorial Day looks different every year for families and friends as they remember different individuals that have lost their lives fighting for the freedoms that we enjoy. Throughout the history of the United States from 1775 to present day, there were around 3 million casualties of U.S. soldiers, of whom 300,000 lost their lives during active combat. Many people in our congregation have either served or know people that have served or are currently serving. The church office will be closed on Monday for Memorial Day. And as you also enjoy the day off, I hope that the hope of the victory that we have in Christ is a consolation for those who are remembering their loved ones this weekend. And to the veterans, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your service. That's all for the announcements this week. See you next week. <laughs>